You could have put something else on while you were waiting. I did consider it, but really rather nice feeling the air around my knees. Oh, Ruby, you shouldn't be doing that. I should if you don't want him like that all day. Oh, Sandy! I'm starting a nature's convention. Are you? But it doesn't seem to be catching on. No, you're going to give us all nightmares. Uh, no front creases. <laughs> yeah, he's got plenty of them. <laughs> OK, all done. Should we get you dressed? Just one minute. Oh, thanks, Ruby. You should be getting paid danger money for that. Oh, never a dull oh. moment round here. Thank you. Yeah, talking of money... Um... Where are we? I don't know how to put this. Go on. You know things are a little bit tight for us at the moment. Yeah, I know. And the agency, they charge an arm and a leg for you. Uh, if you can't afford it anymore, Laurel, no, don't no. worry, I understand. It's... No, I just wondered if we could cut the agency fees. Pay me direct, you mean? You'd still get paid the same. We'd both be winners. I wish it was that simple. Oh. oh sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, no, I? it's just that if they found out, I'd be sacked before I knew it. Well, yeah, of course. Sorry. No, I just stupid. can't afford to take the risk on it. I really wish I could help you. No, honestly, don't worry. If I'd do it for anyone, of course, I'd, you know. Please, let's not mention it again. Right, you. Kept some before you catch your death. Uh, you left these, and I might be in the bath when you get home. OK. Oh, you're knackered. Straight from one job to the next. Mm. Hey. Laurel asked me to look after Sandy as a private client. Save money. Mm. We're all doing that, though, aren't we? Oh, she really didn't want to ask. It was awful for her. Do you want a coffee while you're here, baby? Yeah. Stubborn as his father. There'll be no stopping him now. I think you should just see how it goes, babe. I've got to meet my manager at 11. Oh, well, if you're free at lunchtime, just text me. If you're not free, I am. I'll let you know later, all right? Yeah. Walking up to work. What do you think? Want some company? Not if it's yours. Looks like Ruby, mate. Don't be pathetic. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll be over a bit later than usual today. I've got a meeting. Right. Laurel! You come in? Yeah, yeah, wait for me. She said to the kid. Do you want me to come back later? No, it's fine. And she was joking about the other woman. Right, um, we need the accident book. I've cut my finger instead of the peppermint syrup. He was using his teeth. So I told him to grab the scissors and he grabbed a Stanley knife. It's not as bad as it looks. A plaster should do it. But I've bled into the mix. Right, first aid box in the staff room. I'll be along in a minute. Blame an idiot. So, you're going to whisk her off to a five-star hotel, yeah? Fill the bath with champagne. Well, I'm not that much of a monster, am I? I was going to tell you. What, that you don't want me to work for you today? Or tomorrow? It's nothing personal. Sandy loves having you there. You know, we all do. But you can't afford to pay for care any longer. Hiya. I'm well ready for that drink. Thanks to Dan the divot we had to work over. <laughs> Look, I, I just can't afford it. Now I'm on my own. And you reckon you can cope with looking after Sandy on your own? Well, other people manage. Other people don't have two kids and a full-time job. Well, I'll sort something out. Why don't you come for a coffee sometime, catch up? Sandy's really going to miss you. Yeah. I'll nip over when I can. Oh, better get off. We've only got half an hour. Hey, Rubes. How about a bit of care over here? They should tell you I've got my fingers. And she don't care. Ja. And it better only be a coffee. Are you charging them? Oh, she's not the type to take advantage. She's just in a right mess. And she's meant to be a client, not a mate. Yeah, but she's more than that now. So is Sandy. They're really nice people, you know? Yeah, and they're not your problem anymore. Oh, come on. I mean, a spider in the bath? Is that, is that the best she could? Thanks for walking me back. When was the last time we managed to sneak off for a pint at dinner time? Oh, too long ago. Shame we didn't have time to nip over. Mm, next time. If I get home first, I'll put the kids' teas on you. Hey, Laurel. Do you fancy another drink after work? My treat. Maybe another time. I've got the kids and um, a pile of ironing. Well, you've got my number. You look after yourself, okay? <laughs> Bye. I'll see you later. You thought she'd come all this way to see you? So funny. So that's why Laurel and the Vicar split up. 
Never knew she was one of yours. Just shut it down. Now I'll be here before you met Ruby. Just a thought. You want to know on my fingers, eh? Oh. Yeah. Oh, a vision of loveliness. <laughs> I was just after you, actually, Laurel. It's not a bad moment, is it? No, you're just in time to tell him he can't go out in his slippers. Mm, she's right, you know. Not exactly high street fashion. Oh, well, it's a good thing my days of modelling are gone. Look, I'll get your paper. I've got to go to the shop for a few things anyway. No, oh, I'll come with you. I just wanted a quick word. Which gives you time to have a quick sniff down before dinner. Oh, a girl after my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, keep an ear out for Gabby and Arthur. They're upstairs. Yeah, my solemn promise. So what can I do for you? I was just wondering if you've said anything to Sandy yet. Uh, no, I haven't had the heart. Good. Then don't. Why? Look, I know things are tight for you at the minute, so I've changed my mind. What about taking mine privately? If you still want me. Of course I do. But are you sure? I wouldn't say otherwise. But I feel bad. I mean, I haven't forced you into it, have I? No, no, no. You haven't forced me into anything. I really want to. I can't tell you what a relief that is. Thank you so much. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Oh, I'll just have a Coke or something, please. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right, I'll have a white wine. A small one, please. Well, Sandy, not wearing your slippers, then? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, I, I like to dress more formally for my postprandial drinks. Speaking of which, what will you have? Oh, we're, we're fine. Oh, come on, it's the least we can do. And especially if I'm going to be your new bit on the side. <sighs> What's this? Yeah, I said I could stay on if we kept it on the quiet. All right. So what are you having? Um, it's just easy if we get us on. I'm still waiting. Oh, two halves of lager then. <laughs> Cheers. I'll give you a hand. Uh. So what made you change your mind? Oh, I felt sorry for her, didn't I? You're looking after him and two kids by herself. Anyway, we need the money. Not if you lose your job. I won't. Can I have a word? Mm. Val, can you finish your soda for me, please? Oh, looks like it's your lucky day. 